Winston and the Beard, good afternoon. Bit of a sombre video this one. Uh, my last one I said welcome to Yellowstone quite uh, uh, quite enthusiastically. And uh, since then I went and had a shower, which was rather lovely. I uh, cleaned all my vitals. Um, but then after that went to the commercial area within the park and it was a bit of a surprise. Um, a bad surprise, not really what I was expecting. Um, I certainly have the utmost of respect for Yellowstone and what they do and um, the fact that they've reintroduced wolves um, and they're having a lot of success with it. Um, the park itself, I've driven probably around 60 miles of it today. Uh, completely stunning. Um, very varied terrain and uh, lots of different ecosystems in grasslands and hills and mountains and woodlands. Um, but then right smack bang in the middle of it, uh, they've put a very large commercial music playing um, monstrosity, to be honest. Um, just to entice a load of people to spend loads of money. Which I don't mind, but I'd rather they just charge loads of money on the door instead of go and enjoy the park. Um, a friend of mine said recently, uh, well, I, we were having a very um, political conversation about whether um, what parks should be like and what they should offer. Um, he made a comment that, well, he said basically, um, Mother Nature doesn't cater for the disabled. Um, which is a rather sweeping, uh, blunt statement. Why should we cater for um, either disabled or people that can't? Well, not maybe not the disabled, but people that can't access the park um, by building extra roads and building extra facilities that, in the long run, have negative effects on things in the park. Um, Yellowstone's so big, it is the biggest national park. It's, it's probably about the size of Wales, uh, just looking at the map, which is just insane. Maybe not quite as big as Wales, but it's almost there. Um, it just saddened me a little bit, to be honest, to, to find that in the middle um, of this beautiful park and uh, what it was trying to get... Uh, people to spend their money on um, but forget the money it, it kind of gives people an experience of a national park that I don't I don't believe what a national park should be about um, so it was pretty difficult I, I didn't enjoy it it was it was a bit saddening to be honest and uh, came away in a bit of a grumpy mood um, having said that uh, Facilities are, are fine, they're good. Um, camping's pretty safe. Um, somebody said to me that the trouble that they've got is that they have too many visitors every year and they have to cater for them. Kind of disagree with that. Um, too many visitors stop them coming. Um, if the end result is having a bad effect on the park, then limit the people that come don't build a massive commercial outlet in the middle of it to cater for the masses who want to spend loose change on crap. Anyway, I don't normally get on my um, environmental or political high horse, but it upset me a little bit. Um, uh, most of the national parks I've been in so far have been, have been pretty understated, which I think they should be. It's it's about the park itself. It's about the it's about the wildness um, and experiencing that. It's not about driving in on a tour bus, getting off, buying a few knickknacks, staring out of a window, and then driving off again. Um, when all you've really done is pay for the roads to be built and polluted the air a little bit. Um, tough one to swallow, really. I. Uh, I was in love with Yellowstone and then I saw that um, and this isn't the only um, commercial area in the park there's there's more than one and there's there's a few actually 
I'll see more tomorrow. Uh, but you know, don't let me to tell you, it's uh, it's a pretty amazing place, and um, the rangers and the people that work here do amazing things. Uh, it was just a bit of a shame that someone had decided to put such a huge commercial entity right smack in the middle of it. Um, there are signs everywhere saying that the bears are going to come through camp, and you know we've got to be careful with our food and everything. But to be honest, with that about a mile away. And with all the foot traffic that comes through here, not a lot's going to happen in the camp. Um, animals wouldn't come anywhere near us unless we were having a barbecue right outside the back of the truck and, um, you know, putting a plate out for them. Which I know some people probably do. But uh, food for thought saddened me a little bit. I'll go over it. And tomorrow is another day. Uh, it was funny when my friend and I went into the shop looking for Wi-Fi and we both just turned around and went, oh, we don't want to be here. So um, we left straight away. They didn't have any Wi-Fi. <coughs> but, uh, well, actually they did, but they charged you for it. Long video. See you later.